Hello from the Düsseldorf Boat Show, the 50th anniversary in Düsseldorf here. And the company Yacht Devices has just released the digital switching system, which I will present you today. The main part is the circuit control. You can see here, it is very simple to use and uh, affordable. So you can uh, see this device connected to NMEA 2000. Here you can see four relay connections and at the other side four buttons with LED controls. The circuit control has four latching relays. Latching relays only take current when they are switched. Otherwise they stay without uh, consuming current and they can switch loads, AC and DC loads, even up to uh, 220 volts AC or um, 12 volts DC. And they can manage up to 20 amps so the latching relays have no heating like other things do like mosfets or something in this way and it's very uh, easy to use you can uh, put the cable in here and fix it on the other side we can see the buttons Here's, here are the buttons and this are the button controls and the button uh, have an indication led of the state so if you push a button uh, you can see the LED on that button will indicate the state of this button. And it's very easy to use. You can add also some more buttons with an extra switch control. If the bank name is zero of the circuit control and the bank name is zero of the circuit control, a uh, switch control, then they work in parallel. So the VAN button here is switched on. You can see the state. And on the switch control, you also can see the van is on state. And you can switch it off here. This means you need not to cable it to the whole boat. You can put the switches wherever you like and uh, use them from different positions, downstairs or from the helm. So in addition to these buttons, we can also use a tablet. We use a Wi-Fi gateway on the network, NMEA 2000 or CTOG NG and we transfer all the data to an iPad for example or an Android tablet and uh, there's a web server on this page and the page is shown here so I can see all the switches on the tablet and take it with me so I can switch on for example the horn you can see the horn is switched on here and the button and the horn sounds and I can switch it off again to make it uh, calm. This is all managed over Wi-Fi and the circuit control unit. So this is an easy way to add the buttons and take it with you. Yeah. There's another big advantage when you control circuits and have sensors in the system. I can show you now. We have, for example, moisture sensor, temperature sensor, or the exhaust gas sensor. So if the exhaust gas is getting hotter, then we have to switch an alarm, for example. I can show you here. This is the sensor and we can see the temperature of the sensor here. Inside the, the uh, exhaust gas sensor is a programming that he has to, can switch one channel of the circuit control. And if the temperature rises above 100 degrees, in this case, the van goes on and kills the light. And here you can see the van is on, on every switch control, even on the iPad, and the exhaust gas uh, is um, too hot in this case. Another advantage of the circuit control is that it can be controlled by Z-Zone. Z-Zone is a protocol that is supported by many of the manufacturers of modern uh, multifunction displays like Zimrad, BNG, Garmin, Raymarine for example and other ones and you can also show the buttons uh, on the multifunction display and switch it on and off so it's very convenient to work with. Thank you very much for viewing this video. Enjoy your day.